Okay. What you doing in there, man? Watch me eat this nice little slice of pizza. Let me tell you something. For me to find a slice of pizza by a propane grill, that's a blessing. Cause you know people don't be grilling pizza like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, so look at you with your little friend. You got a friend? Okay. Only friend I need is this pizza right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Down in the wheel on God. <laughs> you know what it be singing when the food is good? <laughs> Ooh, real good, man. Let me tell you something. I feel sorry for dogs because y'all got them weak paws, you know what I'm saying? But you can't even hold a slice of pizza like I can, you know what I'm saying? I can hold it and fold it over New York style. Y'all can't do none of that, man. Dogs got weak paws. I'm handling this pizza, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Please subscribe. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Fire Friday, December 15th. And in today's video, I have one play for you. But before I go into the play, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the overall markets. The Dow closed up 0.43%, settling at 37,248. The Dow is in all time high territory. This one is a Fed fuel flight. The Dow looking strong. The Nasdaq, they closed up 0.19% at 14,761. Apple, Apple rose 0.08%, trading at $198.71. A brand new 52 week high was obtained yesterday at $199.62. Apple, this one is heading to 200 by Christmas. Big winner yesterday was FRGT. The stock climbed the whopping 122% to settle at 59 cents. The higher day was $1.40. This one was over 300% at one point. The volume yesterday was 188 million shares. Compare and contrast to their average volume of a minuscule 150K. The company came out with news. They'll be renewing their contract with Amazon. And on that, the stock skyrocketed FRGT. Dave's play today is a SP play. In and out, grab and go one and move the not over stay. You're welcome. GETR. GETR is up 78% in the pre market, trading at 29 cents at the recording of this video. The higher day thus far in the pre, 44 cents. If this one retracts below 20 cents, this might be a no go today. GETR is spikeable. For example, on November 17th, stock went from 13 cents to 34 cents on a volume of 26 million. In addition to that, on May 12th, the stock went from 33 cents to 70 cents, 70 cents, all in one trading day on a volume of 21 million. Company came out with news. Breaking news. Robust third quarter earnings report. And on that, the stock is spiking. Let's get the tires. I mean, yeah, it's a solid car. Clean title car. <sighs> Try to do, dent it, don't dent it. I'm not gonna dent it, relax, pal. It's fine, don't worry. You don't have to worry about it. I ain't worried about it, pal, trust me. I ain't gonna buy it if I'm worried about it, you know what I'm saying? Why are you kicking it? Don't the, kick it. <laughs> you know what? Oh, unreal. They were a market cap of 15 million, 55 million in the float. 15% of the float are held by insiders. 34% of the float are held by institution and short says 68 million in revenues. Their revenue per share, <laughs> 0.86. Their quarterly revenue growth is up 42% year over year. I will repeat that. The quarterly revenue growth is up 42% year over year. This is GETR. Their gross profit is 57 million. Total cash of 22 million and a total debt of 85 million. They have to work on their debt load here. Current ratio is sitting below par. Current ratio is sitting precisely at 0 0.40. GETR. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on X at WT for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits because now you see them, now you don't. Dave Natch, 
I'm out. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. Always take care of your downside and let the upside take care of itself. Please trade responsibly. Have a great weekend and be safe. And I'll see you when I see you. Dave Nash, I'm out. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webull link below. You will get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is just one penny. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only the way to go. Pre-market hours trading is very risky. It's not for the risk averse. I thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out. <laughs> the proper curing, and if you get near shoreboards, um rent them do not don't let the contractor tell you to buy them rent your shore posts all right another thing please keep all receipts go to specs contractors like to turn things their way of building go to the plan stick to the specs of the plan okay very important all right got to be on top of these contractors trust me or else you're gonna end up building two houses okay so first you're gonna take time off and go down go down and see what's going on face to face eye to eye ear to ear all right if you can't go down have somebody up here go down a trusty friend have them go down okay have them send live video feed, pictures, videos of the progress, okay? You got to see where your money is going Cross check your receipts against your materials, so on, so forth. And so forth. All right, so stay tuned, listen to I Smash, tons of information. Don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe and please do share the video. Start preparing to bed the roof. So, let's do the type of crown of seed prep them when I know I'm going. We all know what's a prep. Crown of seed prep them when I know I'm going. But we're going to start from the outside and then come inside. So, these now, these are the columns. These are the columns. We encase inside of a molding, aluminum molding, which, as I'm, as I'm ever shown, them grease it and grease the molding and then put the concrete in it. Unlike plies, the plies, eh, them normally wet it because it absorbs the water within the concrete so it sticks to it and then we reuse it so with the aluminum, aluminum molding, them grease it so it create the layer so it doesn't bond the concrete doesn't bond to the aluminum <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.